My name is Alexander Alexandrov and I'm a director cinematographer. My name is Grant Boudiette, an aerial cinematographer. I'm out here in the beautiful Sierras. We're here to test the full league of the Sony camera lineup and the new airplane. A couple of years ago, I shot a film on Sony Venice. I love the camera. It's color science, the look of skin tones, built-in NDs, recording Kodak. Rialto is a Venice module I usually don't go without on the shoots where a camera needs to be very compact. Sony's Airpeak S1 Cinema Drone has a relatively light footprint. It gives you the high tier quality visuals on smaller production scale. We are putting the Airpeak for high altitude, cold temperatures, low light conditions and testing its limits. Having Sony's flagship Alpha A1 camera in the air is huge. You're able to get up to 8K, slow motion, high ISO video on full frame, recorded in 4 to 2 compression. And for amazing low light performance, you could use G Master Prime lenses with aperture up to f1.4. We all know Sony's got the best autofocus. You now have that autofocus system in the air. The codec on the ecosystem of the A1 FX6 is a 4 to 2 10 bit recording. It's easy to take the footage from these cameras and intercut it with high end systems like Venice. Another important feature to mention is flexibility of Sony E mount system. Today we're playing with a famous F.95 Dream Lens. I have it on the M mount to E mount adapter on FX6. You have camera sensors on every side of the drone top, bottom, left, right, front, and back. That gives me more confidence as a pilot to allow my cinematographer's colleagues to focus on the image that they need. Other drone systems in both the pro consumer and consumer market we've used before, the image and low light situations would completely fall apart. This is where the air peak is invaluable to me. My quick feedback, I'm very impressed. Another important point is still photography. A1 camera, taking 50 megapixel stills in the air, giving you that unreachable view. I feel like paying homage to Ansel Adams now in modern day with Sony's technology in our hands. I can use these tools in various size projects, from large scale commercials and films to more personable ones with less resources that often produce unique visuals.